Michael Avenatti seemingly imploded under the weight of his own ego. This is according to Time and Raw Story. Michael Avenatti says the next Democratic presidential nominee better be a white male. If Michael Avenatti wanted to completely implode presidential ambitions for the 2020 election, he couldn't have asked for much, for much better dynamite than the newest profile of the pugnacious lawyer in time. In addition to revealing a checkered history of personal and business conflicts that include accusations of child neglect and fraudulently representing a law firm's finances... The profile documents Avenatti joking about having sex with first daughter Ivanka Trump and declaring that the next Democratic presidential nominee better be a white male. Quote, when you have a white male making the arguments, they carry more weight, Avenatti told reporters Molly Ball and Alana Abramson. Should they carry more weight? Absolutely not. But do they? Yes. Nonsense. Utter nonsense. It's a this is nothing but a self-serving identity based identity politics based argument. It's Michael Avenatti saying, Oh, do just take take my advice, take little old me's advice that if you really want to win, you gotta go with a white man. And oh look at that. I'm one of the white men that actually wants to be president. He's a total mainstream media creation, Michael Avenatti is. Because he came out of nowhere, his whole thing is, oh, I'm Stormy Daniels' lawyer, and now I'm going to get every mainstream media outlet to invite me on the shows nonstop, and I'm going to force, through sheer force of will and persistence, I'm going to keep pushing my name into the national conversation. And mainstream media, since uh, they're totally vacuous and vapid and substanceless, they fell immediately for a guy like Avenatti, who's almost like a Trump-like con man who's nominally on the left. And the problem with a guy like him is that I don't believe anything he says. Like, for example, he says he's for Medicare for All. Do I believe him? Not at all. I don't think... He probably didn't even know what Medicare for All was until, like, a year or two ago. You know? And if, if you didn't know that, that's okay, because you're not saying you want to run for president. This guy wants to run for president, and he's just like, I don't know, uh, yeah, I guess Medicare for All. He, he's one of these guys. Where's the wind blowing? Oh, it's going that way? Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, I'm totally for that. But I don't... How am I supposed to trust him? How am I supposed to know that he's actually going to do it? How am I supposed to know that when he's in a room full of, uh, you know, health, uh, for-profit health insurance CEOs and big pharma and his advisors that he's not immediately going to cave and go, oh, okay, so it's hard to do Medicare for all? Fine, I guess maybe public option. Oh, that's hard too? Fine, maybe just uh, some slight tweaks to Obamacare. See, that that's the problem. And also, let's be clear... Um, I think a guy named Barack Obama totally destroys his argument. Barack Obama, black man, elected twice. So, now, I obviously have many disagreements with Barack Obama. I think he's a giant mixed bag in terms of being uh, at how he was as president, but he refutes the point. Like, oh, people only listen if it's a white man. Well, then how about the black guy that just got elected twice? You know? Uh, I mean... It's not, listen, the people on the left, by and large, with some minor exceptions, we do, uh, when it comes to our candidates, we're colorblind as fuck. What are you for? See, it, uh, the right-wing voters, it's hard to determine what drives them, because oftentimes in polling, they actually agree with a lot of the left-wing priorities, which is weird. Um, but it almost like they want that uh, really strong personality, that strong man-type character. Whereas I think left-wing voters as a general rule especially the base they want substance they want so it doesn't matter how that comes at them it doesn't matter um as long as you're fighting for the people you'll be picked and you know barack obama in the field that he was in seemed to be more of a fighter for the people than anybody else on stage so it, it's just not true to say oh only white men can make their no you're saying that because you're a white man and you want to be president. So, of course, a guy like this is going to end up falling all over himself and making arguments like that. Because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. He just wants to be president. He has a giant ego, so he's fumbling all over himself with all this media attention. And he's going to shove his, his foot in his mouth 9,000 more times uh, before he's out of the public spotlight.